Among the most typical and popular street food of Emilia, the recipe for fried dumpling is a hit. Fragrant outside and empty inside. Let's discover all the secrets to make it at home. Fried dumpling. Let's start with the dough mixing liquids immediately, water and milk. I stir it. I pour flour in the bowl. Baking powder. Then salt. And sugar. I start mixing it, then once the powders are mixed, I add to the liquids. I add to the lard and continue to knead. Now that it has reached the right texture, I transfer the mixture on the pastry board so I can knead it for about 10 minutes. In Emilia, fried dumpling is also known as fried cake, gnocchi fritt, pincino or crescentina, depending on where it comes from. I'll shape it into loaf buttered and put it in the same bowl. Then I cover it with a cling film. The dough needs to rest for at least an hour, up to a maximum of 12, but obviously I had already prepared it. Here is how it looks. Nice and smooth. Let's clean the board because now I have to roll it out. Now I really have everything I need. Pinch of flour on the pastry board. I'll cut a piece and cover the rest with the ball. Then with the rolling pin I start to pull it out. I had to get a sheet not thicker than a couple of millimeters. Clearly, if it becomes too long, we can divide the dough. Here is our dough ready. Now I have to get to geometry moment. Some parallelograms. That is kind of rectangle, a bit sideways. 7 by 8 centimeters. I'll clearly use a ruler and a cutter choosing between the smooth blade or the scalloped one. I'll draw the edges. This exciting bit I'll put back under the bowl so I can use it again later. And here, the first ones are ready. I'll keep going like this with everyone else. Start to fry. In ancient times, the fried dumpling would be cooked in lard, but in a more modern version, like ours, we can use oil, which is at ideal temperature, 170 degrees. A few pieces of time. Let's pay great attention to cooking, because it will take about one minute, and as soon as they are golden, you have to drain them. Here are the first ones, ready. And I continue frying all the others. Fried dumpling, meat and cheese board, and a nice glass of Lambrusco. I'll link down below the photo recipe on Giallo Zafferano, where you will find the ingredients, the doses and procedure, explained step by step. If you liked this video recipe, please don't forget to leave a nice like. And if you have any questions to ask, leave them in the comments. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe on Giallo Zafferano channel to stay up to date on all the news. Did this recipe make you hungry? Cook it yourself and let me know.